The common reaction of simple tertiary alkyl halides is that of sulbolysis, in which a solvent such as water acts as a nucleophile and replaces the leaving group. In this case, a tertiary alcohol is the product. When a good leaving group, such as a halide, is present on a suitable substrate, the polar solvent promotes loss of the leaving group to produce a carbocation. The carbocation is flat, sp2 hybridized, and in need of electrons. With water as the solvent, it can act as a nucleophile and trap the carbocation to give a more stable protonated alcohol. In the last step, the water solvent is then able to deprotonate the oxonium species to afford the alcohol product. The first step, the formation of the carbocation, is rate determining. Here, the leaving group breaks away to produce the 6 electron tertiary carbocation. This is achievable because of significant electron donation from the 9 adjacent beta bonds in the form of hyperconjugation. The water solvent is present in excess, and in a second, fast step, water attacks the electrophilic carbocation to produce the stable 8 electron protonated alcohol. This step is fast because the tertiary carbocation is now flat, not crowded, and easy to attack. The last step in this process involves the water solvent deprotonating the acidic oxonium species in a fast acid base reaction to give the alcohol product. The polar protic water solvent plays multiple roles in this sulbolysis process, from facilitating the leaving group breaking off to acting as the nucleophile and then reacting as a base in the final step. To summarize the mechanism arrows. The protic solvent assists the leaving group breaking off from the substrate through hydrogen bonding. This leaves a tertiary carbocation which is stabilized by electron donation in the form of hyperconjugation. This unstable intermediate is then trapped by a molecule of the water solvent to afford an oxonium ion product. This step is fast since the carbocation is flat and easy to attack and the product regains the octet at each of the atoms. Deprotonation of the oxonium ion by solvent then generates the alcohol product. In summary, a sulbolysis reaction occurs when a secondary or tertiary alkyl halide is exposed to a polar solvent such as water. The solvent promotes loss of the leaving group to form the carbocation in the rate determining step and then behaves as a nucleophile to give, ultimately, the alcohol substitution product.